Good day folks, Neil here from Southwest Adventures. Today we are going to scaffold a kuti using an air rifle. But um, these rodents are quite common here in Trinidad and Tobago. They feed on fruits, nuts, leaves and shoots. They are permitted to be hunted from October to February. So sit back and enjoy how we catch clean and cook the aguti. Alright, so we, we come to check the food after we set it for about it we mean for a couple of days, eh? And if you see you see the signs that you feed in here, people look at that, look at that. Watch what you're doing and them. Watch what you're doing and them cutting up the coconut shell, watch, watch. That is a very good sign, you know. Very good sign. They're eating all inside here. Now them, um, green naked wood rail and the white tip dove and other animals just come and eat the food, right? Eh? But surely it's a good sign that a good eating. Yeah. Surely a good sign that a good eating. Bring the coconut again for my kid. Now here now, is where we have it. This is actually a hammock we're going to hang up here. About seven feet from the ground. And this this part that this piece of wood that is going across here is going to actually be like a support for our foot. Alright, so I will show you how it works in a bit. Alright, so you wanna be able to have a clear shot of the animal when it comes. So we have this iron stick, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually pick down coconut like this. And the reason for that is that the aguti and them actually take it up and they move with it. So you want to be able to secure it. So you drive it on into the ground here. So they won't be able to go with it. Right? Cut it in half like this. the old one take it on Alright, so from here, you're supposed to have a good view at the field, which is about, I would say about 35, 40 feet away. And the idea is to remain quiet. The idea is to remain quiet. You come in, you come and you sit down and you wait out. And you wait about until the booty comes. Usually they come around four, half past four, sometimes five. No, four, and the idea is that you sit here, you have, you have, make sure you have something to rest your foot on. Because they get cramped. Yeah. And you have your weapon, you okay. take him, but you have to listen, you have to be quiet. Because Gutis are very, a Guti very good at hearing songs. They are very good at hearing songs. Alright, so stay tuned for the part when you come in and sit down for them. Alright, so we have a red tail squirrel. You love coconut, trust me. And as you can see, He's attempting to come down to the, to the coconut. He's very, he looks very similar to an aguti. If you take off his tail, he looks very similar to an, an aguti. There's also a white tip dove that is nearby. They also feed on the coconut. Alright? 
So I'm just here sitting, observing them, being quiet, because they need to be very quiet, and hoping that the aguti comes. So as you can see, I am sitting on a hammock about 8 feet from the ground. I am perfectly camouflaged within these trees. Now, you have to sit there for sometimes 2 to 3 hours and listen for the sound of the approaching Aguti. It's the dry season and there are lots of dry leaves on the forest floor so you can actually hear hear them when they are approaching now sometimes these aguti approach the food very quietly you have to really listen for them Okay, if you look good, you'll see him coming from the right of the screen there. He's approaching the food now. So you wanna you wanna be able to um, get him in a position where you could actually get get a good shot in. Maybe um, from sideways is always best. I mean, it depends on how, how good your your marksmanship is. But I like I like to get them from a sideways position. And then the hunter will take, take him and fire a single shot from his air rifle. He will then make his way to pick up the aguti and hopefully get back on his scaffold and maybe await another one. All right. So from here, we are going to show you guys how we actually prepare the aguti for cooking, cleaning it and stuff. All right. What happened here at Southwest Adventures? Boiling water on him, right? I'm gonna flip him to the next side, like this. Make sure you cover the full area. All right, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to scrape the hair off, right?
All right, so can I scrape all the hair from him? Make sure all the hair is off. And um, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna give him a nice roast on the fire so that it will kind of give it a nice flavor when it's been cooked. All right, so we remove the, the the guts from it. So this is what it look like. And um, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna um, we're gonna cut them up in some nice pieces and season them up good, good. good, good. All right, so once you cook in wild meat, you must have a coconut, a grated coconut. Whether it be Gucci, Lap, Mani, Puta, Tu, Iguana. So we're going to cook the Gucci with dumpling and cassava, but we're going to chunk it. Time to chunk it, dumpling and cassava. Alright, so we have our, our guti here, properly well seasoned and marinated for maybe about 3 or 4 hours and now we're going to cook it curry, right look at it here, season up with green seasoning and onion and garlic and everything else, right? Alright, so we're going to curry this guti, there's some onions in the pot here, some chopped pimentos, some celery. Shadow Benny, chop. And I'm gonna add some saffron powder. And we'll call it turmeric. And I'm gonna add some curry powder. Mmm, smells good. Wow. Mm. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry here, people. I'm getting hungry. All the pieces of this we can cook. So we allow it to fry for a little bit and then we're going to add some water. Adding some water again for a second time. Alright, so we add in another section of water again here for the third time and allow it to fry up for a bit. I want that curry to really fry up good. Alright, so it's time to get that uh, abuti in. in. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna stir it up there now. Make sure everything is kind of and then it will make it full water, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. And the chunky dumpling and cassava ready on the side, yeah? So we're just waiting now for the abuti to cook. So we allow it to dry down for a bit. So we allow it to cook for down for a bit, and now we're gonna add the coconut milk, right? 
置かなくなるリブトスマファーベッドスマダンファーベッド There you have it, the finished product Time to get down on some curry agouti with some chunky dumpling and cassava. All right, so time to indulge in this agouti. Come in a little closer and let us eat one. And chunky dumpling and cassava. All right, kill a boy, Jason. Yeah, good. Hola, mi amor, soy Cristian Vendelman. Cheers. <laughs>